Arcanes are conditional upgrades that can be used on most of your gear in Warframe. This includes on the Warframes themselves, your weapons, and even on your operator. Whilst you can acquire some Arcanes pretty early on, I have left this quite late in the playlist because the best ones are generally at the end of the game anyway, and that is where they are going to be making the biggest difference. The first and best place you should start your Arcane hunting is on the Zariman, where we'll be able to get some of the best Warframe Arcanes, such as Molt Augmented, Molt Vigor, and Molt Efficiency. The description on screen should be enough to show you why these may be useful and why you'd want to start investing in these, as well as some of the best amp upgrades as well, particularly if you want to be taking down Eidolons and Void Angels. And this also happens to be where we get the Amp Arcane Adapter, which is what allows you to be able to equip two Arcanes to your Amp at the same time. There are also some fairly interesting secondary Arcanes here, but you can't equip these until we've actually spoken about the Steel Path, which is why I've left it so late. I know it's probably obvious on screen right now, these can be purchased for standing through the Zyraman, which is probably the quickest way to get them. But there is also a 50-50 chance for a Void Angel to drop them, and the Thrax enemies that appear during the missions on the Zyraman also have a chance of dropping them. Which means, in general, just running Zyraman missions is going to be a good idea for getting a good head start on your Arcane collection. The best place to begin for your Operator Arcanes is going to be Onko of the Quills on Earth. This is because he has a a good selection of both operator boosting arcanes such as Magus Vigor and Magus Husk which both directly improve the stats of the operator themselves so if you're the kind of person that likes playing this the operator a lot this could be pretty good for you also you'll have access to Magus Nourish which allows you to heal your Warframe simply by switching into your operator mode which is quite nice we gain standing with these guys by trading in intact sentient cores the best and fastest way to farm these is by defeating the Eidolons because a lot of them drop from the Eidolons themselves. So all of these people saying the Eidolons are worthless are incorrect. An honorable mention should probably go to Little Duck, but the fact that we have to max out Vox Solaris first stops me from saying that she's anywhere near as good or accessible as Onko. And realistically, when compared to Onko, Magus Repair is probably the main thing that you'd want to get from here. I'm sure there are other great uses for some of these other ones, but generally speaking, we can get everything that we need from Onko on Cetus. Moving on to weapons then for our ranged weapons so that is primary and secondary weapons we need to switch to steel path so that we can farm up the stalker wannabe acolytes these drop all of your major primary and secondary arcanes which are extremely strong particularly things like primary deadhead and primary merciless and the secondary variants and once you have defeated enough acolytes and not only gained yourself some ranged weapon arcanes you will also need need to head to a relay so that you can speak to Teshin as this is something that we need to buy from Teshin. The arcane and primary adapters themselves are what is going to allow us to apply the arcanes to our weapons. That leaves us with the newly added melee arcanes which are acquired from Demos. You will need to have completed the Whisper in the Walls quest to be able to access this so make sure you've done that if you want to get arcanes onto your melee weapons where much like a lot of the other ones most of the melee arcanes are directly purchasable straight from the standing merchant, which means all we need to do is run bounties and we can collect most of the arcanes there. During bounties, make sure you keep an eye out for a little book. This is the Mocking Whisper, I believe, and you'll basically just find a little ghost chase it down to where it decides it wants to hide and you can get yourself an extra arcane each time you enter into the whisper in the walls. It is however worth noting that some of the melee arcanes are only acquirable through the netrocells so those are going to be quite high level as well and if you've been collecting them for a long time we are now able to sell them in a similar manner to primed parts. If we come and speak to Lloyd here we can select arcane dissolution. This allows us to basically sell our arcanes for a, cu a currency so if there was something here that i had too much of or that i didn't like i would be able to go ahead and select them here and sell them for the currency and then use them to purchase packs these are random packs of the arcanes 
that I would like to have. This is very useful because this means if we are, let's say, farming up all of the areas that I just spoke about to get all of the arcanes that we want, particularly the primary and secondary ones, because we have to still farm those to be able to get new adapters, which means we're likely to get spares of those as we go forward. And then we can use them to get random packs from any of the other areas that do in fact drop other arcanes that we may want for our collections even if they aren't as useful in my specific opinion as some of the others if you are a collector as much as you are wanting to just kind of farm up the best ones then what i will do is i'll leave a link to a wiki page that has them all denoted by where they drop and where they are equipped which is just way easier for you guys to look at than for me to try and either explain it or drag it out across the screen which leaves us with how to upgrade them so if we come down to the middle of the ship where the rest of our arsenal is if you look towards where your mods are once you've gotten your first arcane this segment for arcanes should become available when you click in here you'll notice that the stats on your arcanes do not marry up with the stats that they are first displayed as that is because they have differing ranks and you can see here we have ranks zero to five to max one out you actually need 21 in total of the arcane which is, which is why i haven't been burning any of these up because i wanted to just show you guys that you can then of course go ahead and upgrade it like so and then go to the relevant adapter where you can go ahead and equip it that pretty much concludes what arcanes are where we should be farming the best ones and everything that we need to do with them i hope that helps you out and i catch you all in the next video